praise the most high today. Hallelujah. Praise the highest. Yahuwah. Through his son, Yahusha. Hallelujah. Thank the most high family. Mm -mm -mm. It's a grand day here in the Carolinas. It's just absolutely gorgeous. We have a nice breeze stirring. I want to check some of it, but I don't want to be too loud on our recording. But it sure feel good because it's warm today. <laughs> it's a warm day here in the Carolinas. And as the old song says, nothing could be finer than being in the Carolinas in the morning. Hallelujah. Yeah, I guess that's how it go, but that's how it's going to go today. Hallelujah. What a grand day. Family, I'm so excited about the Most High. Hallelujah. Because he answered a prayer. Yes, he did. He answered a prayer straight up and down. And kind of quick. I was um a bit troubled last evening. Because, um of some opposition that I had because I'm out here doing what the most I called me to do and I said pop I need you to show me such and such and such and such and such and such and such <laughs> I ain't giving out all my business no no sir so I learned that a, a minute ago don't tell anything mm -mm. that's what folks want you to do Hallelujah. But I finally quieted my Ruach. Well, let's change that. The Most High finally quieted my Ruach. And I was able to get some rest. I had to be up this morning at 8. I had to be to my first gig at 10. So I like to get up, even though it takes me only about from 20 to 30 minutes to get to each job. I try to keep them all in that um, time range and in that the mileage. But when the most high woke me up, family, he woke me up a little bit earlier than eight o'clock. I'm like, oh boy, father, here you go. <laughs> and we all said it. Stop, stop lying. Stop trying to act like you get right on up and say, let's get it, daddy. Every morning. But this morning I was <clears throat> a little bit tighter, a little um, sore. My hind part was sore, family. Mm. And I was trying to trace it back to what I did to make my hind part sore, or my buttocks. And I just couldn't figure it out. And the only thing I could think of, it was the most I whooped my butt. <laughs> oh, boy. But it wasn't. He let me know that this morning. But he showed me a vision. But I hope I said, I hope everyone is well today. And that you too are able to get out and enjoy this beautiful day. That the most I has given us in order for us to rejoice in and be glad. See, we're going to be glad in today. We're not... We may not be glad all day. <laughs> oh, boy. But we're going to rejoice even though we're not glad all day. Because we're going to get some gladness out of this day. We're going to get some happy times. <laughs> oh, boy. And you know what it takes, family? Still away to the secret place. Still away of the Most High. Hallelujah. We're going to get on in there. Hallelujah. And you know where it starts? Hallelujah. 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 Because when I think of the goodness that the Most High has shown to old Robert, mm, mm, mm. my Ruach cries out, Hallelujah. Mm, I thank the Most High for saving me and continually saving me daily from Robert. Oh, 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 oh. can anybody identify? He saves me from Robert. And before we go further, I want to thank my Cotes and one of my ox, 
for reminding me to stay focused. For reminding me to stay on this walk in the word. Uh oh. To stay on this walk in the word. And the first comment was from Lakeisha Williams. She said, y'all bless you, brother. So praise the most high for that, sister. And I commented back to her. And she came back and said, hallelujah. Well, let me let me read what she said. Well, I said, I said, he is, he is my sister, mostly with another day to show forth my praise in my lifestyle. The living sacrifice he calls us to. Forgive me for the long reply, but it's in my Ruach and what we will be speaking on today. Told off for confirming. Every day is an opportunity because every day is a blessing. I, I added that part. Every day is a blessing. But that was the day 22 hours ago. And then she wrote back overnight. Hallelujah. To Yah be the glory. May he keep stirring you. I have been blessed by what Yah has been giving you. Hallelujah. So I say hallelujah to my sister. Praise the most high for. And praise the most high for him continuing to stir old Robert. That he can get some kind of good out of my life. That somebody can see something good and gain something good out of my life from where I was. And our sister Polena, Yah, she said we must remain humble before Yah, understanding he is the creator of us and time. Yah's time is not according to our time. Fam, I say this because Yah checked me on waiting to rush him. Oh boy. Oh, praises to the most high Yah exclamation mark and she dropped the, the script second address 4 38 through 36 he answered me and said you do not hasten faster than the most high for your haste is for yourself basically saying you don't rush me you need to rush yourself but the highest hastens on behalf of many See, the most I ain't concerned about just your little simple butt. <laughs> oh, boy, Robert. He concerned about the whole. Did not the souls of the righteous in the chambers ask about these matters? Saying, how long are we to remain here? Uh-oh. Well, he getting on me a few weeks ago, family. How long before you come and whip these heathens? How long before you burn this nation? these nations and when will come the harvest of our reward when will we get ours for remaining true and faithful hallelujah and I wrote back to our sister Palena Yah, you speaking the truth the key point is for the many or the whole I am, I am so guilty of wanting out of this system so bad that I started asking Abba for the next move and he checked me loud. <laughs> it's best to stay in our own lane and let him be the most high who sees the big picture. Hallelujah. And then our aunt Warren Henderson, he said we have to be patient. The Most High will have the Exodus at, at perfect time to redeem us Hebrew Israelites. Remember, Lamb of the Most High, Yahusha, Yahusha will appear in the clouds. Shalom and blessings. Praise the Most High, and I believe that's going to be later after he gathers us. And we're back in the land. Well, praise the most high for you, brother. And I really did want to um, share these comments because they're such an encouragement to me. And at the same time, 
they should encourage each other, all of us. I wanted to give a shout out to the king's daughter. She said, told our brother for this good word. We as a people are looking for the curses to end due to the 400 years being completed. But remembering the times have been changed per the scriptures, check the Ethiopian calendar. Closer to the Hebrew calendar, it's seven years behind the Gregorian, Gregorian calendar currently used. Look it up. The 400 years has not expired yet. And I don't agree with my sister, the king's daughter. I believe those um, curses have been carried out. The 400, 400 is over. And that he's in the process of transferring them curses over to our um, enemies. And I say this, family, because the text says that you got to read the signs. We can discern the weather, but we can't discern the times. We have to see what's going on around us, family, and see this is happening, this is happening, and that has happened. Now, I don't know at all, but like I said, I don't believe in that. What I said in response to her was, Shalom, sister, I respect your opinion. However, I believe those 400 have ended, and that the Most High is judging the nations as he said he would. We are coming out with great substance. So, Toda, for tuning in and reaching out. Hallelujah. See, family, we all have our own opinions in this thing. Just like our young brother yesterday has an opinion about the Most High's name. But that name don't matter, as we're going to see today in this, this um, idea we have. But I want to get to the ones more up to date. But all these, family... They have a great impact on me and what I'm doing for the Most High. Just like my sister, Jordana Brown, she said, Brother Robert, we are at critical hour in the land. And what she wrote before she edited this family, she said, Brother Robert, there are distractions everywhere. Something like what she said. And I responded back, it says, Shalom, Tredina. I know. I said the same thing this morning. Distractions everywhere. However, our Father sees all, knows all, and is working all things together for our good. Praise the Most High. And she came back and said, Keep on doing the work. Stay encouraged and stay focused. I wrote back and said, told our sister, y'all willing, I will keep on getting in, getting it in because I really don't have a choice. Told our for the very encouraging words. So praise the most high family for y'all reaching out to a brother and keeping me focused. Hallelujah. And keeping me in tune with what's really going on. And what's really going on, family, is we're all in this together. We're the whole it's not just one of us going through these hell and high waters. Going through the hell and the high water. It's all of us. We're all longing for our Elohim to come see about us. We're all longing for him to come and get us. And take us back into our land. Regather us as he said he would. But what we got to do is stay focused like my sister said. But at the same time. We ain't no soft pussyfoot nation we are Yehuda praise the most high and what we're doing family we're taking it by force and that's the name of our idea today by force we ain't playing oh, I like that that sounds good we ain't out here playing like I said in the prior recording this ain't no play play time for me I don't do this um for my help or do this well I do do it for my help I don't do this for my um what's the word father I had it on the tip of my tongue for my own selfish gain to blow my own um whistle what's the word father it's coming it's coming we'll put it in the idea family but 
We're to take it by force. Hallelujah. I felt that thing. But let's let's tell the vision this morning. He woke me up to this vision. We're already at 20 minutes. We praise the most high. Well, let's get this script. And it's Matthew 11 and 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. And the violence take it by force. Hallelujah. Then we read Ephesians 6. It says, For we wrestle or fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahuwah, that you may be able to step to withstand in the, the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth, and having your and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the, the basoral of shalom. Above all, take the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Ruach, which is the Most High's word, hallelujah, or the word of Yahuwah. Praise the Most High. And then we looked at Psalms 144. Praise the Most High. See, he's going to teach us how to fight. See, first he, he tells us we're going to take it by force there in, um, in Matthew, speaking of the, from the days of John the Baptist, we suffer violence. Being John got killed. But we take it by force. And we, we have suffered violence every since then, being the Most High's children. Just like now, we're going through a whole lot of heartache and, and crimes against our people but we don't wrestle against flesh and blood see that's not where the battles won family but yeah we take on the armor and we had that sword in our hand which we're gonna learn something here real quick something i heard a sister say but psalms 144 says praise the most high who is my rock he trains my hands for war and gives my fingers skill for battle. Praise the Most High. He is my loving ally and my fortress, my tower of safety, my rescuer. He is my shield and I take refuge in him. He makes the nations submit to me. Uh-oh, <laughs> hallelujah. He makes the nations submit to us. Keep that in our Ruach today, family, as we see these nations falling apart. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High. Oh, Most High, or Adonai, what are human beings that you should notice them, mere mortals that you should think about them? For they are like a breath of air. Their days are like a passing shadow. Open the heavens, O Yahuwah, and come down. Or should we say, open the heavens, Yahuwah, Sabbath oath, and come down. Touch the mountains so they billow smoke. Hurl your lightning bolts and scatter your enemies. And we just saw a lightning bolt strike a, um, a tower in a major city. It's, it's going viral on um, online right now. But folks are like, screwed. <laughs> Shoot your arrows and confuse them. Well, let's go back. Hurl your lightning bolts and scatter your enemies. See, that puts it back into perspective. They're his enemies. Shoot your arrows and confuse them. Reach down from heaven and rescue me. Rescue me from deep waters, from the power of my enemies. Praise the Most High. And you see how that he keep tag teaming it. He'll put it on the Most High and then he'll put it back on himself. But as far as them being the Most High's enemies, family, it's because they mess with his chaps. And I love watching um, animal movies. Oh, animal videos and um, the one I was watching last evening this helps me calm down family because I can't watch a whole bunch of nasty movies and stuff no more I can't have that in my Ruach being that I have recovered from 
porn addiction and sexual addictions. So I have to be very careful what I put in my spirit family. That's part of the separate yourself and come out from amongst them. But yeah, I was watching this animal movie of how this, um, what was attacking? An eagle was attacking a leopard with his, his children. His kittens, or however you would say that. But the leopard attacked the eagle and killed it. Like, no, you don't. This is my child. Praise the Most High. Here we go. Their mouths are full of lies. They swear to tell the truth, but they lie instead. Here you go. This is how we're going to battle, family. I will sing a new song to you, O Yahuwah. I will sing your praises with a ten-string harp. You grant victory to kings. You rescue your servant, David, from the fatal sword. Praise the Most High. He rescued Robert from the fatal, fatal sword also. From that major stroke. Praise the Abba Yahuwah. Save me. Now he's crying out for salvation again. Hallelujah. And that's what we're doing too. See, for the whole now. See, he saved us all, family, individually. And put us on the um the walk in the most high's word. Rescue me from the power of my enemies. Their mouths are full of lies. Here we go again. They swear to tell the truth, but they lie instead. May our sons flourish in their youth like well-nurtured plants. And right now, family, we know our children, our sons aren't flourishing in their youth. Most of them locked up or getting killed. Like I said, most, not all. May our daughters be like graceful pillars carved to beautify a palace. In faith, we speak of this today. May our barns be filled with crops of every kind. May the flocks in our fields multiply by, by the thousands, even ten thousands. And may our oxen be loaded down with produce. We speaking this thing out of faith today, family. And we might not have oxen and and um, flocks in the fields, but we have our own pers- what is this per- own perspective occupation and the most high's blessing. May there be no enemies breaking through our walls, no going into captivity, no cries of alarm in our town squares. Yes, joyful are those who live like this. Joyful indeed are those whose Elohim is the most high Yahuwah. Hallelujah. And as we said, family, and uh uh-oh, we had to shout out our um, Akote Mayala, who just chimed in. She said, true facts, and this is on every day is an opportunity. That was yesterday's or the prior recording. She says, true facts, Art Robert. No, true facts, 100, Art Robert. We need discernment in this hour. May Ab Yahuwah grant us the wisdom, understanding, and faith that we may endure to the end and found worthy. Hallelujah, praise the Most High. Truth, my sister. Nothing but the truth. Hallelujah. But praise the Most High, family. We're getting on into 30 minutes. But what I want to say about this recording, family, as the Most High showed out through David, he's showing out through us now in this season. But we're not fighting a physical war. On the most part. We don't fight against flesh and blood as the text says. But we're fighting. And the way he's training our hands family. And this sister says something about the. um, The most high is a word for. um, Hand in the Hebrew means mouth also. But I hadn't looked that up and studied it yet. But it's the same. We can we can take that for granted because he's changed over the way we battle. We don't fight against um, flesh and blood anymore. We fight in the ruach. And him training us how to fight these days, he's given us the armor to do it. And our sword is our mouth. 
See, we have to open our mouths and speak the truth, family. And what the words say, any, any opposition to what we're saying, if we're in the Most High, he condemns them. We'll put that in there. I know I'm saying it wrong. But, but praise the Most High, family. We got to open our mouths. First, we got to shut our mouths, sit down and shut up and learn of the Most High. Let him teach you. Let him bring you up to par. Let him bring you up to speed of what's really going on. See, we got to come up out of that church with that church entity. That Eurocentric Christianity lifestyle and doctrine that we have been taught our whole lives. See, as I was saying in the prior recording family, the most I had to destroy that foundation. Oh boy. Yeah, I learned a whole lot in that system concerning the most high's word. And I knew him, but I didn't completely know him. There was a whole lot about him I didn't know yet and still don't. And no, I don't know it all, family. But I know what he's taught me. And what he's taught me, I'm going to speak it. And I don't care who like it or don't. I don't care. And if I hurt your feelings behind you trying to tell me what the most I ain't taught me, so be it. You may need them feelings hurt like mine was. For the 11 months I was in recovery <laughs> from a stroke, open heart surgery, brain surgery, surgeries on my left leg and three toes amputated, as, as among other things I, I don't speak about. But I was also in recovery from being destroyed, having my foundation being destroyed by the Most High with what I thought was right. He had to crush it and to crush my feelings. And today, a lot of our feelings are going to be hurt and here in the next few days. But the Most High gave me a vision over in the morning, family, concerning some questions I was asking. And what happened is, he showed me, y'all may have seen the, um, the little GIF, or G-I-F, however you say it, of people going over the cliff people going over the cliff and those from behind was just pushing them over and the further away from the cliff it was casual folks were spread out walking towards the cliff like nothing just okie doke like ain't nothing wrong but the closer you got to the cliff you started seeing the press oh boy and what the Most High showed me this morning, family, was I was coming from the edge of the cliff where I had literally fell off. But the Most High caught me and put me back on the path. And as I was going back to away from the crowd, well, back through the crowd, he showed me that I had like a force field around me and the crowd was parting a bit. But there were still people coming through the crowd and, and mean mugging me and throwing me the shoulder. You know how people run into you and bump you with their shoulder or throw you the elbow when they going in the other direction. He was showing me that this morning, family. And he, he, he showed me that the ones that was elbowing me and throwing me the shoulder and brushing up against me, mean mugging was those closest to me in my life. But I looked over to the left and I saw some of my um, oxen or cotes over to my left and right. And they was headed back in the right direction, back towards the Most High. They have repented. See, they had turned from their evil ways and was headed back to the Most High. And the other people was in between us going the wrong way. But as I was crying out and saying, repent, repent, turn back to God. Don't go that way. There's a cliff. You're falling off the cliff. Only the people that was closer to the other, my oxymalcotes, could hear me. Those closest to me couldn't hear me. They was just like mean mugging me and throwing me the shoulder, elbowing me as they would go in the other direction. And, but the, the rest of the folks, it's like the force field just opened up and I could part through the um, crowd. As well as my brothers and sisters off to the left and right of me which I was only able to speak to their friends and family and they was only able to speak to my friends and family and associates. 
But praise the Most High family. It's by force. And see, we got to keep our mouths wide open for what the Most High tells us to speak. And it don't matter who don't like it. They're going to be okay. <laughs> you'll be okay. You'll be all right. Yep, yep, you'll be all right. But am I going to quit? No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Just like I told my sister, Tredana, Tredana, Tredana Brown, I don't have no choice. She wants the Most High to turn me around and push me back on that path. But I know what's back there. I already know where I come from. Ain't no going back. So I got to put in the work. I got to open my mouth for the most high. Praise the most high. We're going to let that be our time, family. But it's by force. We're, we ain't no soft group of folks. We ain't no soft nation. We have um, warriors in our bloodline, family. And now we're fighting a different kind of war. But we got to open our mouth. See, you notice since we woke up back in 2019 and been crying a lot and sparing not. All hell is being break, break, breaking loose on this earth. And we'll continue to. But what we have to stay focused on, family, we might can't affect our friends and families and those closest to us. But as long as we keep pushing out the word, keep pushing out the word, putting out, putting in the word, those on beside us that's warring with us, their friends and family are being affected by what we're saying and doing. Because what he, he told me, a lot of times our friends and family can't hear us because they're too close. They see the flaws. They see the, the, um, our messy. <laughs> and a lot of times we've hurt them with our mess. But praise the most high family. Take it by force, family. I love y'all so much. Stay up and keep pushing forward in the right direction. I so much, so much appreciate the kicks in the butt. Shalom.